hello everyone welcome to the engineering projects youtube channel in this video tutorial i will guide you about how you can use stack column full width in your desktop application first of all you have to go here and search for chart uh, cha sorry here is a chart drag it over here expand it according to your need then search here for series and change the series into stack column 100 and name that is series as s1 add another s2 and change it also like stack bar 100 add another s3 change its name okay now it's fine first we will add the chart name as chart1 dot title dot add stack form 100 chart now we will add the series so it's chart1 dot series name of the series in double quote s1 dot point dot add x y x is d1 and value is 11 now add other values like i will say it's 10 and it's also 10 and it's also 10 s2 s3 now execute so we have one column okay and we have value divided equally so this is 10 this is 10 and this is 10 in the 100 it will automatically give the value uh, divided by each of their space now to show the value on the chart we will use a feature which is that uh, we will simply copy this and after point we will say is show as label is equal to now replicate that for other two series and execute so it will show you the accurate value which is divided on on which they are divided now uh, stop this and add another column column 2 3 and 4 so it's day 2 uh, it's day 3 it's 4 and now we are going to change their values okay now execute so here is the stack column hundred percent chart so here you can observe that what is the ratio of each value within the column uh, here you can use this chart in your point of sale application e-commerce desktop application and any kind of application where you want to show the summarized view of your transactions or operational queries like how much sales happen in how much day or in each day which product have the percentage of sales and which have uh, giving us the profit and which is giving us the loss so I hope this video tutorial is informative for you if you have any kind of question regarding this or charting in c sharp desktop application you can ask us by just giving the comment below this video so don't forget to subscribe the engineering projects take care